Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Time is the core of life. Time is the capital investment of the Muslim in this life. Uh, it's more precious to him than gold and silver and precious jewels uh, because it ends fast and once it's gone, it never returns. And because it is in time that you can perform righteous deeds and draw closer to Allah. The importance of time increases when we are talking about special seasons, virtuous seasons like the season of Ramadan. Uh, and I personally believe that Ramadan is the best practical training course for time management. Uh, it, it trains the person how to preserve and invest his time in the best manner. And uh, the one who masters this, who does a good job during Ramadan, paves the way for himself for the rest of the year to properly manage his time and utilize it. And uh, to show the importance of, of time, Allah Azza wa Jal made an oath in different parts of the Qur'an, different verses of the Qur'an, by time. Allah Azza wa swore by al-layl, night, al-nahar, day, al-duha, early morning, al-fajr, dawn, al-asr, late afternoon. All of these are times. And the scholars said when Allah Azza wa gives an oath in the Qur'an by something, it is to indicate its importance and significance. And the sad reality is that many people do not appreciate time. They're not mindful of its importance and proper utilization. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, as, as reported by Al-Bukhari, there are two bounties from Allah Azza wa Jal in which people incur loss, time and health. And the Prophet ﷺ because of its importance and because many people incur loss, he encouraged us to hasten and utilize our time properly. He said, وسلم, take advantage of five things before other five things take place. And amongst these, he said, take advantage of your life before your death and take advantage of your free time before you become busy. And the Prophet وسلم, to further show us the importance of proper utilization of time, he said, if the hour comes whilst one of you has a shoot of a tree in his hand and he can plant it, then before the, the hour actually happens, then let him plant it. If you think about this, there is not much expected of this, but it is just to teach us that we need to hasten in utilization, proper utilization of time. Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullah alayhi said a beautiful statement. He said, wasting time is severer on the believer than death. He said, because Death puts an end to your life whilst wasting time disconnects you from the hereafter and from Allah Azza wa Jal. Proper utilization of time, taking advantage of opportunities in virtuous times, is something that takes two things. Sincere intention to Allah Azza wa Jal and a strong will. You know, if, if you're not determined, you're sincere, but you're not determined, you're not taking the matter seriously uh, in utilizing your time properly in Ramadan, you will not be able to do that. After the help of Allah Azza wa Jal, intend it now, sincerely for the sake of Allah, to properly utilize your time and be determined 
that this Ramadan, I'm going to make optimum utilization of my time and take advantage of it to make it a beginning of an organized life thereafter. Assalamu alaikum.